Hello and Assalamu alaikum. Today I will be talking about reptiles against human rights defenders in Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. As you know, uh, reprisals against human rights defenders uh, in retaliation of their engagement with international and uh, regional human rights systems constitutes uh, an attack on the human rights, the rule of law, and international and uh, regional human rights themselves. Uh, India has uh, taken punitive actions against human rights defenders who remain engaged uh, with UN human rights systems and regional uh, human rights mechanisms and uh, these uh, by sending the information to international and human rights uh, systems uh, on documenting various types of human rights violations on ground. Uh, though documenting human rights violations in occupied Kashmir was never an easy job. Uh, the human rights uh, defenders always face intimidation, harassment, arrogations and also life threats uh, by the occupation authorities. But uh, these uh, noble warriors, they took their job and continued to document the human rights violations in occupied Kashmir despite all odds and sent these uh, reports to the international human rights mechanisms and that became a cause of uh, and, and for uh, India to take the repressive measures against these uh, rights defenders. Uh, during this current dispensation when we see uh, the government of India has uh, resorted to nefarious designs of discrediting the human rights uh, defenders of Indian occupied Kashmir by uh, charging them with false and fabricated charges uh, like sedition and other draconian laws like PSA and UAPA. Uh, we have seen uh, re most recently uh, a human rights defender of international repute, uh, Khurum Parvez, uh, being detained, uh, detained, who is the chairperson of the International Federation for uh, Action and Enforced Disciplines for uh, Human Rights uh, on Enforced Disappearances. He is an internationally acclaimed human rights uh, defender, but the charges which government of India laid against him was akin to discredit his credibility at international level. In the same way, uh, the Mr. Asan Ontu, the another human rights defender of Indian occupied Kashmir, who is the chair, uh, chairman of International Forum for Justice and Human Rights in Occupied Kashmir, was uh, detained on uh, most recently by the occupation authorities again on the same uh, fabricated charges. Uh, these two human rights defenders, along with others, have always been the voice of Kashmiris at the international level, at local level, uh, by documenting the human rights violations, by sending these violations to the international human rights systems. But what constitutes the reprisal uh, by the Indian authorities? They try to intimidate them, harass them, their families, and uh, maligning them and discredit them uh, so that the international community will not take cognizance of the documentation what they have done so far. These Indian acts are against the international law. These are against the international human rights systems. I take this opportunity to thank the international human rights uh, defenders, especially the UN Special Reporters and international human rights uh, watchdogs for raising their concern on the detention of Forum Parvez uh, and international press reported vastly on his detention and uh, condemned India's action and urged India to release him. So uh, I will take also this opportunity to uh, request, I'll urge the Assistant Secretary General uh, for Human Rights, uh, Mrs., uh, Ms. Elise Brands Carries, uh, who is responsible to report on the reprisals that she should talk uh, uh, to the government of India to stop the reprisals against human rights defenders in, in occupied Kashmir and not to harass their families, not to intimidate their families and release these uh, the vocal voices of Kashmir who are there to defend the voices of the people. They are the human rights defenders, not the terrorists.